Hey there, today we're looking at the hottest bags of 2023. I'll tell you which ones are hits and which ones are misses. Let's get right into it. Starting off with my favorite brand, Louis Vuitton, let's take a look at the High Rise Bum Bag. This bag sold out before it was even released. That's right. This just launched in the United States on August 4th, and it won't even be available worldwide until next year on March 24th. Of course, that date could always change between now and March. This is priced very reasonably, especially for Louis Vuitton. It's only 1,850 US dollars. I think these days anything below 2000 for Louis Vuitton is pretty reasonable. Their prices have been climbing so high lately. The High Rise Bum Bag is the newly redesigned version of the women's bum bag that was discontinued about a year ago. It's been redesigned with ultra slim dimensions, so it's a very lightweight and very sporty. It's currently available in monogram coated canvas only. It has the classic Vachetta leather trim along with a textile removable and adjustable strap. Here are some mod shots of the high rise bum bag. If you're interested in this bag, I highly suggest reaching out to a client advisor to express your interest. As I said, this sold out in the US before it was even launched. So this is a very popular bag. Moving on now from the loud luxury of Louis Vuitton to the quiet luxury of Laura Piana. Their extra pocket pouch has been seen on celebrities including Gigi Hadid, Gigi Hadid, and uh, Gigi Hadid. It's also been seen on Gigi Hadid, Gigi Hadid, and uh, yeah, Gigi Hadid again. She really loves this bag. It's quite a simple leather pouch. It has a zipper a removable strap, and that's about it. However, this is priced at a whopping $2,225. So for that price, I really can't recommend it. I think this bag is a big miss. If you're looking for something similar, you can get the extra, extra small vanity pouch from Longchamp for a mere $310. The dimensions are a little bit smaller than the Loro Piana pouch, but for $2,000, I think you can get a much better bag than the Loro Piana extra pocket pouch. One example is actually the Hermes Bridabrac. This has been a really popular bag this year in its own right. It's a toiletry pouch that features a cotton exterior with a waterproof wipeable lining because this is meant for toiletries. It's not meant to be a handbag, but people have been transforming this. Here's one example where someone braided a twilly to create a handle. And this has even been so popular that you can buy a conversion kit now. Here, there's two attachments that go on either side of the bag, and then you can just attach your own strap to create a purse. Here's an example um, from iMarae. I apologize if I mispronounce the name of that company, but this is their conversion kit that you can buy for only, I believe, 48 US dollars. So it's pretty affordable. And the bags themselves, because they are made out of cotton and they're meant to be toiletry pouches, they're priced very reasonably, both at under $700. And even when you add on the conversion kit, it's still a pretty affordable luxury handbag. Let us know in the comments section if you're a fan of transforming toiletry pouches or if you think that's a faux pas. Let's move on now to Bottega Veneta. They have been rising in popularity for the last few years and their hottest bag this year is the Andiamo Tote. This is just a classic tote bag. It comes in four different sizes, a small, medium, and large model. The medium model isn't pictured, but it's in between the large and small size, so you can imagine what it looks like. There's also an east-west. Now I'm going to insert a clip of Bethany Frankel giving a scathing review of this bag. Another day, another fake news influencer story. Okay, so this is a bag that is Bottega, and it's known as the new it bag if you listen to influencers on social media. It's the bag that everybody needs to have, of course. Okay, 
it's five thousand dollars now it's i'm not i'm five five and a half forget my hideous house dress but let's just focus on the bag it's under my breast what i it's it's not it can't be adjustable so this is it you get what you get and you don't get upset um it this is a five thousand dollar bag from Bottega because Kylie Jenner says it's the best bag she ever had in her whole entire life. That's fake news because you can't even open it up and get in there. Like at least frankly with an Hermes bag, you are paying a fuck ton of money, but you can get in the goddamn thing. Now, I don't hate this bag quite as much as Bethany Frankel does, but she is absolutely right. Design-wise, this is not a great tote. It's average at best. And it's so expensive for what you're getting. It ranges from about four dollars to $8,000, depending on the size that you get. And for that price, you can get a much better tote bag, including the Loewe Puzzle Fold Tote. This is a new bag in their puzzle line. This was just introduced in the Summer 2023 collection. It comes in three different sizes, mini, medium, and large, and even the large size is about half the price of the Bottega tote. The Puzzle Fold tote incorporates the geometric lines of their iconic puzzle bag, but as the name implies, it's designed to fold down flat for traveling and unfold in one single gesture. Here's a view of the interior of the bag. This is the mini bag, and it does come with a detachable strap. You can see the D-ring on the right side. The mini bag has a removable long crossbody strap. The medium and large models just have the shoulder carry option, but even so, this bag is way more practical than the Bottega Toe. In terms of usability, getting in and out of the bag and folding it up for travel, and it's a fraction of the price. So if you're going for a popular tote bag, this is the one that I would personally recommend. Let's move on from tote bags now and take a look at the Ferragamo Wanda bag. This is an archival design from Ferragamo that's been re-released. It's very sleek, streamlined, and modernized now, and there's a Wanda for every occasion. This comes in five different sizes, I believe, and a whole variety of materials and finishes. Here's just a few examples on screen. This is also very affordably priced for a luxury handbag. It ranges in price from $1,250 for the micro size, up to $3,600 for the mini Wanda with crystals, but most of the models are in the two to $3,000 range, which is pretty good for a luxury bag. This is an influencer favorite. Here we see it on YouTuber Cassie Thorpe, and she's unboxing her mini Wanda with red airbrushing. I personally love how this bag incorporates the classic Jancini logo in the clasp. I think it's unique, but it's also still very functional and practical. I can see why a lot of people love this bag, also with the minimal branding, which is very popular this year. We're going to wrap things up with Goyard and the Mini Anju Tote. Again, another tote bag, but this is specifically the mini size. This is a reversible canvas and leather tote. In true Goyard style, this comes in 11 different colors, a lot of neutrals as well as bright colors. But the best part about this bag for me personally is the material. It's that combination of calfskin leather on one side and Goyardine canvas on the other. The Goyard tote bags that are only canvas feel a little flimsy to me personally, but this canvas and leather combination adds a great amount of thickness and heft to the bag so it doesn't feel flimsy at all. This is also really well priced at under $2,000. It's a great size at eight by eight inches and it's still super lightweight at only five ounces. Now let's do a very quick recap of the hottest bags of 2023, hits and misses. The Louis Vuitton high rise bum bag is a hit. The Loro Piana extra pocket pouch is unfortunately a miss. The Hermes Bridabrac is a hit. 
if you want to transform that toiletry pouch, I say go for it. The Bottega Veneta on Diamo Toe is an overpriced miss. The Loewe Puzzle Fold Toe is a hit. It's a much better toe option. The Ferragamo Wanda Bag is a hit. I absolutely love Ferragamo. And wrapping things up, the Goyard Mini Anjou Tote is a hit. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I put out new videos every Wednesday and Friday. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.